Hello? Let's take a look at some concentration examples. Example 1, there are two dilute stock solutions. One has a concentration of 1 to 200 weight by volume, and the second stock solution has a 1 to 2,000 weight by volume concentration. And these are available in order to prepare a 60 milliliter of a 1 to 1,000 weight by volume solution. You want to determine the volume needed for each stock solution, respectively. So for step one, you want to set up the allegation grid. The percent of the higher strength would be on the top left, and the percent of the lower strength would be on the bottom left, and the percent of the desired would be in the middle. Now since to set up the allegation grid, you, want, you need the percent of the strengths, so you want to convert the ratios into a percentage weight by volume and insert them into the grid. So for the first stock solution, you had 1 to 200 weight by volume. can also be expressed as 1 gram over 200 milliliters. Times 100%, you get a 0.5% stock solution. Now the second stock solution was a 1 to 2,000 weight by volume concentration, which can also be expressed as 1 gram in 2,000 milliliters. Divide those, multiply it by 100%, and you get 0.05%. And you are combining these to make a 1 to 1,000 weight by volume, which can also be expressed as 1 gram over 1,000 milliliters, times 100%, and you get a 0.1%. And this is how you'd set it up. You have the 0.5%, which is the higher strength on the top left. You have 0.05%, which is the lower strength on the bottom left. And you have 0.1% of the desired right in the middle. Then you want to subtract the higher and lower strengths from the desired strength. So 0.5% minus 0.1% equals 0.4 parts. Then 0.05 minus 0.1% you'd get an absolute number of 0 0.05 parts. Remember, there are no negatives. When you add these parts together, you get 0 0.45 parts total, which includes 0 0.05 parts of the 0.5% and 0 0.4 parts of the 0.05%. Then you want to use the parts to solve for the volume of each stock solution. So you got 0 0.05 parts, which is of the 0.5% over the total parts, which is 0 0.45, equals x over 60 milliliters. When you solve for x, you get 6.67 milliliters of the 0.5% or 1 to 200 weight by volume. Next, you want to do 0 0.40, which is the parts of the 0.05% over 0 0.45, which is the total parts, equals x over 60 milliliters. Then you get 53.33 milliliters of the 0.05%, or 1 to 2,000 weight by volume. When you add the 6.67 and the 53.3 milliliters, you should get 60 milliliters. For example two, you have dopamine hydrochloride injection, which is available in 5 milliliter ampules of 30 milligram of dopamine hydrochloride per milliliter. The injection must be diluted before administration and the physician wants sodium chloride used as a diluent and wants 0.025% weight by volume of dopamine chloride. How many milliliters of sodium chloride injection should be added to 5 milliliters of the injection? So for step 1 you want to convert 30 milligrams of dopamine per milliliter to a percent concentration. 30 milligram over 1 milliliter is also 150 milligrams per 5 ml. So pretty much if you multiply 30 milligrams by 5 and 
one milliliter by five, you get 150 milligrams over five milliliters. Times that by 100% and you get 3%. Next, you want to set up the allegation grid. You want to set up the percent of the higher strength on the top left, the percent of the lower strength on the bottom left, and the percent of the desired right in the middle. You want to insert the values into the corresponding sections of the grid. So you get 3% of the dopamine hydrochloride and 0% of the sodium chloride, which contains 0% of drug. And then you want it to make a 0.025% solution. Then you want to subtract the higher and lower strength from the desired strength, which would be 3% minus 0.025%, and you get 2.975 parts. Then you want to subtract 0% by 0.025%. 0 0% 0 is a sodium chloride diluent, which is 0.025 parts. When you add those together, you get three parts total, which consists of 0.025 parts of 3% dopamine hydrochloride plus 2.975 parts of diluent. Use the parts to solve for the volume of each stock solution and you do a proportions. So you got 0 0.025 over 2.975 equals five milliliters because a 0 0.025 needs to be in five milliliters and you want to find out the diluent concentration. So instead of doing 0 0.025 over the total parts, you want to do proportions of that over the parts of the diluent. And that should give you the milliliters of sodium chloride injection. Thank you.